Well, Chelsea knew if they came here to Tottenham and won and Manchester United slipped up, they would be top of the table. And they led early on in the game. A lovely ball in by Eric Cuthbert and glanced home by Jess Carter. What a way to celebrate a century of games for the club. Perfect platform for them to go on and dominate the game, and they were dominant early on. And when James played a role with a tidy pass, that's a lovely cross in. Aim perhaps at Sam Kerr to attack it, which she did. She didn't make contact. Carter did 1 0. It looked so comfortable and then gave away the equaliser. Buchanan caught. Neville sees the run of Drew Spence against her old side. That's a lovely piece of skill to go beyond Cuthbert and Beth England. Not celebrating against her former side, but scoring against her former side. And all of a sudden, out of absolutely nothing, it was 1-1 with 16 minutes on the clock. Just watch for this lovely bit of skill here by Drew Spence, rolling a boot over the ball, getting beyond Cuthbert, and England getting between the defenders. To poach a typical Beth England goal. And they have an opportunity, you know, to lead Iwabuchi into the box. Now, Neville tries to be a little bit too clever, I think, but it comes back to Iwabuchi and it's blocked. And against Chelsea, you need to take your chances. Neville at that stage operating on the left-hand side. She's a good player, I don't think it suited her, that role. And this was the goal of the game, and of many a game. Lauren James picking it up, goes beyond one. And then it's a poor second attempt at a challenge and a brilliant finish. But look at the Tottenham players standing and watch, watching. Shouldn't score from that wide position. There are five Tottenham players goal side of it. Goes beyond Harrop. She goes beyond Sumanen. Beyond Iwabuchi. No one comes to meet the ball. They all stood off that. And that's the result. Someone has to attack the ball in that situation. Lovely goal from Lauren James. Really lovely goal. It was disastrous. Tottenham still had their moments. Drew Spencer gets the roll side again to try and level it up. At that stage, they were still very much in the game. That was after 63 minutes, but within a minute, it was effectively all over. Mistake there by selling Bise Ildesoy. And Gura right and ran on to make it 3-1 to Chelsea. They knew Manchester United had been held. They knew they were heading back top of the WSL. Kerr did really well against two defenders to nod it on. And uh, Pise Ildis, who I think lost it in the sun. And a fine finish from the Norwegian international. That should have been it, and then Tottenham gave us a, an interesting finale. Ball played in by Harrop. Helped on by Harad James. Little touch there by Suman and, and Charlotte Chas. Nikola Karshevska, the substitute, rattled it in. And with a minute of the 90 to go, suddenly it was 2-3. Keeper might have done better here. But Chelsea, instead of sitting back and holding on, came looking for another. And Kirby off the bench. Here, work here by Kankovic was denied by Corpella. As well, the substitute. Fine ball chipped into Frank Kirby. Decent save. And then uh, right at the death as they pressed again. Ritin Kunnerit with the effort on goal that squirmed away through for a corner. Chelsea finishing the game on the front foot and finishing the game top of the WSL 3-2.